Now to the latest in a cold case making major headlines. Nearly four decades ago, an unidentified couple was found murdered in a wooded area in Houston. The families of that missing couple just found out their fate late last year. But the silver lining in this tragedy of Tina and Dean Klaus is that their baby, baby Holly, was found alive and well today. And she was reunited with their families. And we're now learning just how a, ge a genetic genealogist used DNA to help put the pieces together that eventually cracked the case. It sounds like a plot from a movie. A missing child found 40 years after her parents, Tina Lynn Klaus and Dean Klaus, vanished without a trace. Dean and Tina Klaus were known as the Harris County Does for a long time online. And they were found on a website by a team member I was working with. Forensic genealogist Allison Peacock has dedicated her career to piecing together unresolved mysteries like the Klaus family murders. In my line of work, law enforcement comes to us to, to get answers to really old cases. Most of the times, these are cases that have been on the books for 20 or 30 or 40, even 65 years. When Allison's team came across Tina and Dean's case online, they offered to help Harris County authorities crack the case they've been working on for decades with the help of DNA. And so we then took some of their remains that had actually been exhumed years earlier, hoping that technology might help them. And we took a piece of their remains and sent it to a lab for whole genome sequencing. What I noticed upon uploading Tina's DNA immediately was, was kind of what we call gold, you know, in this business, a very high match. Late last year, Allison confirmed her discovery of the couple's identity with their families. When we found out what happened with Dean and Tina, we were in somewhat disbelief. The call came from a person that's been a very good advocate of ours, Allison Peacock. We had some contact with Harris County in Texas, and that made it feel a lot more real. And they had done a positive DNA match to prove that Dean and Tina were these people. I said to her immediately, I, I, I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. But that wasn't the only mystery the family grappled with for years. What ever happened to the couple's baby? One of the first things we asked was, where was our, our niece Holly? And that was total shock on her surprise. The whole story blew up. It was like, now we have a missing child. After three months, Allison's research helped lead authorities to trace the whereabouts of baby Holly. I'm excited to announce that baby Holly has been located alive and well 42 years later. My phone had been exploding with text messages from the attorney general's investigator, from him. He said, we're with Holly. We've been trying to reach you. Call us back. I called him and they said, uh, we just met Holly. And they texted me a picture of her. And I was just, I was in shock. Holly, now a mother and grandmother living in Oklahoma, makes a heartwarming reunion with her family over Zoom. When I looked at her, I remembered the times that I used to hold her in my arms, you know, and. I just wanted to hug her. I just wanted to get up and hug her so bad. We are looking forward to try to piece together as much of our lives with each other as we can. Now the family is determined to turn their pain into purpose, helping other families like them use DNA testing to find answers about their loved ones that may be missing. So in getting to know these families, we realized we both had a common mission, and that was to do this same miracle, to bring this miracle to other people. So they've established a fund. It's the Dean and Tina Lynn Klaus Memorial Fund. If this can happen to us after 42 years, this can happen for a lot of people. we just got to make funding available for it. And that's part of the reason we want to create a fund that will help initiate this. While the murder case of Tina and Dean Klaus is still an open investigation, Allison says that since connecting Holly with her family, law enforcement has now received hundreds of leads that could help solve this decades-long mystery. But it is just remarkable what they've been able to do with DNA technology. This is incredible and also gives people hope. Yeah, it does. GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.